Hi, Hi everyone! So today we're playing a game and you have to guess what I'm gonna draw. And it's gonna be a verse of the Bible. And I'm gonna give you a hint. It's a commandment. Easy piece. And I'm doing it blindfolded. <laughs> So let me make sure I've got the right verse here. I've got one picked out nice. and I'll have it on the screen. So if you want to know what it is, um, you can have your mom and dad or older brother and sister read it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I am ready. Would you help me? Uh, could you help me tie this scarf around? Thanks, Kate. Oh. All right, all right. This is this is my paintbrush. Oh, double tied. Wait, is that? Whoa, that's pretty head tight around my head. <laughs> oh, ah, <laughs> oh, I can't you. <laughs> Oh, wow, everything is just blackness right now. It's like blacker than normal when I shut my eyes. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the paint? There oh, you go. okay. Wait, right there? Well, okay, right, right in there. Okay, be careful. Okay, okay. Um, okay, it's a commandment. Uh huh. Okay. Um, do I need more paint? Uh, well, no, you oh. definitely don't. Um, okay, so do, um, do, do not murder. <laughs> do, do not kill. Is it because I'm murdering the picture? <laughs> do, not, do not kill. And, um, <laughs> Uh, you're kind of stealing all beauty. Um, do not steal. <laughs> do, <laughs> do not. Can you not see what I am painting? <laughs> that would be. I mean, you're you're not. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh man! You, do, you can do this. Do not, One more guess. One do, more guess. Do not eat the sun. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, we work on this. <laughs> um, you guys can watch our family try and set up a tent. <laughs> See you guys. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, so we've got a fun project we're going to do, but we're talking about obeying your parents and your leaders and honor today. And you guys, why do you think God gave Mummy and me to you as parents? To take care of us. Yeah, absolutely, to take care of you. You guys, he gave us to you to protect you, to love you, to help teach you, to help you do really, really cool things. And a lot of reasons. But it's really important that a lot of times you listen to us, right? Yeah. yeah, because if you guys don't, sometimes you can get hurt, right? Or sometimes you can't do really cool stuff, right? Jackson, we've got a project. Yay! We're going to make a tent. Yay, tent! But, but. Oh, listen to this, Jackson. You've got to do it without Mommy and Daddy's help. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have them try without us at first, and then we might offer a little bit of help afterwards. Jackson, okay. You think you can do it? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> That's right, let's do it! Okay, you guys, let's do it. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's go over to the, drag everything to the grass. Oh, you know what? We'll help you with this part. Tilly, you'll probably wanna drag the big thing over to the grass first. Okay, Jackson, can you help your sister?
Okay, Tilly Jackson, if you guys need some hints, uh, just let us know, okay? You guys, good job! You can see the tent now. Oh, good job with the pole, you guys! You got one big long pole. You're almost there, Tilly! Would you like help? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Oh, hi, Jeremiah. <laughs> Do you see yourself? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> okay, Jeremiah, can you sit with Mama? Come here, baby. <laughs> so honor means that honor? people are gifts from God in our lives, right? Honor! Yeah, and that we can't do everything by ourselves, right? No, but he gives us people as gifts so that we can do even more. So would you be okay with honoring us as your parents and listen to us well and we can help you put up that tent? Yeah, tent! Yeah, what do you think, Jackson? a little easier than doing it by yourself, right? <laughs> okay, you guys, let's do a tent. Yeah! Okay, 
Okay, now Chili, just little pulls and just tug on this so that it's all stretched out. Tug, 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 tug. There, perfect, you guys. Okay. Good job, you guys. Okay, gently push the pull through. Gentle, gentle. Okay, stop. We got it. Put this through the other pole, the other hole. Okay, go ahead, you guys. Gentle, gentle pushing. Gentle pushing. Good job. Well done. All the way over there. Yeah. Come bring it way over this way. Yeah. Okay, and pushing. Uh-oh. Just a second. Ah. <laughs> Good job, Talia! Good job, Tilly! All right. Okay, you guys, time for the fly. The black hooks. Right here, Tilly. Here's one. Right there. You can hook that one down, sweet. Good job, Tilly. You put this down now, okay? You hook it up. Yep. Yeah. Hook it onto the hook it onto the circle. Oh, right down here. Rejected. Hey, thank you guys. Okay, thank you guys. So nice. Okay, Tilly Jackson, can you push this pole through? Ready? Okay, now Jackson, Jackson, the pole, it goes, oh, I have to do this one because it's so high. It goes up there. Okay, now Tilly, pull, push, push, push. Push, push, push. It's there. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's do the back one, Tilly. Check out this tent! It's so great! Good yeah. job! 
<laughs> good job. Good, good job, job. Jackson. Good job, Tilly. Oh, you guys did such a good job listening to us and doing what we we're asking you to do. You know what that's called? Yeah, that's called obeying. And honoring. Yeah, you guys were honoring us as your parents and listening to wow. Thank you guys. And because of that, we got to make this amazing tent. That yeah. is huge. <laughs> so when we honor our parents and when we obey them, we get to enjoy awesome things. <laughs> Just blessings. We get to learn a lot. Uh, we we're protected. Mm -hmm. And we get to camp out. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you guys want to camp out here tonight with Daddy? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being amazing kids, amazing children. We love being your parents. Excellent. Was it easier to do it with our help? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you guys for joining us. Bye! Okay, say bye! Okay, I'm kind of interested in seeing what this looks like. <laughs> what were you going for exactly? <laughs> well, <laughs> isn't it obvious? It's honor your father and mother. <laughs> my mother does not look like that. And my father does not look like that. Okay, so this was supposed to be a smiling boy with ears that are hearing and he's like listening happily to his mom and his mom was supposed to have a mouth. I honestly don't even know what happened to her mouth. I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> but she's supposed to have like a smile and be talking to her boy. I don't see it. <laughs> um, uh, just to be real with you, I don't even really see it either, and I painted it. <laughs> I think it looks more like Do Not Kill. Ah! I just so wanted to do a good blindfold painting. I could help. Let's do it. Teamwork makes... Good painting. Do you like climbing trees? I love getting as high as I can and just looking all around and seeing the sky and the clouds and people way off in the distance. It just makes my heart happy to be way up high. <laughs> I know some people are afraid of heights, but I love them. <laughs> For my job, I used to go way up high in the trees and I would help prune them. So we would take away any dead branches or any branches that were getting too crowded and help the tree be healthier. But there was one day where we had a lot of spruce trees. We would be cutting all the dead wood out of them and we were trying to go really, really fast. I was climbing with my boss on one side, me or the other, and we're just whipping up trees and then just getting all the dead wood off as we were going down. I was trying to be really fast and trying to bless my boss and our client and just having a good time. And so I would unclip my harness without making sure my safety clip was on. I'd go down a little bit and I'd reclip. And my boss would tell me, you're supposed to always have your safety clip clipped in. And that meant that at all times, we were supposed to have one rope clipping us in the tree. But I would take off my rope and I'd be like, oh, it's just a couple of steps, just a couple of seconds. And I would climb down a couple of branches and then I'd clip back in. Well, my boss was giving me a hard time about it. And at the time, it felt a little bit like, oh, we're trying to get this done. But I'm really glad he's watching out for me. And there were a few times when he would even yell at us for not being safe. But I am so glad that he did. But there was one day I was way up high in a tree and I was chainsaw on a limb. And then all of a sudden I started falling back and I was really worried for a second or two and the tree was getting farther from me. And then all of a sudden, the harness tightened up and I was swinging underneath the tree and my chainsaw was just swinging underneath me. And I was all just hanging there in the air. So glad that I was clipped into the tree. <laughs> Cause if I wasn't, there was just hard cement road underneath me. I would have either been in a hospital or dead. I am so glad that my boss had hammered into us that we needed to be in the tree, clipped in tight, because I could have been in big trouble. When the Bible, it tells us to obey our parents and honor them and to obey our leaders. God put them in our lives 
to protect us and to bless us. He wants the absolute best for us. Now, our parents do make mistakes. A lot of times we can disagree with them. And sometimes they're just making bad choices. <laughs> but we can still obey and honor them, even if we don't agree with our parents. If they're making a mistake or a bad choice, as long as we're not going against what God's telling us to do, we can still obey them and honor them. Why? Because we can trust God that he's going to be the one that's going to bless our lives, that he's going to make things right. And even if we have to go through a season that's hard, he's going to take care of us. So there was this boy taking care of sheep in a field. You might have heard of him. His name was David. And the prophet Samuel came over to him and anointed him as king. Well, after that, he killed the giant Goliath. He got to marry the princess. And he was an amazing commander in an army. He had it going. But there was just one problem. The king at the time, King Saul, was trying to kill him. At one point, he took 3,000 men to go hunt down David and the men who were following him. But when Saul was going out with 3,000 men, David was hiding in the caves. Well, Saul didn't know it, but he had to relieve himself. And he went to the cave that David was hiding in. Could you believe that? And all the David's men were like, God's handed King Saul over to you. You should kill him. You should just end all this craziness and nonsense. Become king like you were meant to, like God said you would, and just be done with it all. And you know what King David did? He said, no way. It said that King David was a little bit strict with his men. And maybe a bit like my boss was strict with me when we were doing things unsafe. <laughs> and then King David, he went up to Saul and was telling him, look, I didn't kill you. I didn't harm you. I don't want to harm you. And he honored King Saul as the king that God had in place at that time. Why could King David do that? Why could he honor King Saul even though King Saul was trying to kill him? Well, it's because David was trusting God. He's trusting God's timing, God's promises. He's trusting that the blessing that would come into his life was from God. And he didn't have to make it happen all by himself. Thankfully, not many of us have parents or leaders that are trying to kill us. But sometimes it can be really hard. Well, just like it was hard for King David, we can honor and obey our parents and leaders, trusting God with his timing. And that he's going to be the one that brings his promises to pass in our life. He's going to be the one that brings the fun and the joy and the blessings. King David had a son whose name was Absalom. Absalom did not honor King David. He was trying to become king on his own terms. And he was standing outside of the city gates. And he would tell the people, I know King David isn't doing it very good. I could do it better. And I care for you. And if I was in leadership, you'd be taken care of. He was dishonoring King David. And you know what happened to Absalom? He died young. It did not work out for him. And that is not what God wanted. So it is so important for us to obey and honor our parents and our leaders as people that God put in our lives to help protect and help bless us. And even if we're going through a challenging season, God's gonna take care of us. And that season's not gonna last. God's gonna pour his blessings into us. So even if we disagree, it's really important to honor and obey. And it was really important for me to listen to my boss, even when I thought he was being too strict with all of the safety precautions and the rules that we had to follow all the time. I tell you, I am sure glad that I did listen to him because I am probably here standing talking to you because I did. It's really important that we listen to the people that God put in our lives and value them as gifts from him. Let's do this. I am ready to paint. <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder if this feels like what a boa constrictor would feel like on your head. Just like, tight squeeze. <laughs> I would never think like that. <laughs> but have you ever had someone tightly tie a scarf around your head?
No. <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay, now. We gotta work together, okay? Yes! I am ready to listen and do what you are telling me. Okay, here is your brush. It already has paint on it. Oh, okay. Okay, is this end the one with the paint? Like that? The one that's facing toward the paper right now. Okay. Okay? Alright, so here. Come here. Right up here, do a circle. Okay, good. Okay, lying down. Whoa, yeah. right. that's the body. You need more paint. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, here, go line and line. Okay, okay. and... Ooh, ooh, can I do this part? What? Can you tell me how to do this part and okay. I'll do it? Right here. Okay. Do a line down and angled toward your knee. Okay, like that. Okay, and then do... Wait, 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 start here and do another one. Those are the legs. Ooh, like that? Um, sure. One leg's really fat, but you know, you can own that. <laughs> this is going to be better than my first one. <laughs> okay, so right here. Okay. Okay, okay. We're going to go right, and you do just dot one eye. Weep. Good. Okay, now yeah. from here, Yes. we're going to do a curve this way for a smile. Okay. Good, okay. That's a really big smile. They're happy. Yes! They're happy mommy or daddy. Yes! Okay. My mom is okay, usually really happy. Okay, right up here. How could she not? She gave birth to me. We're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down for hair. Okay. Okay, okay so starting to wear? Right here. here. Yep. Okay, just like that? Yep. All right. All right, yeah. all, right all right. Okay. That's good. Don't get carried away. Is she pretty? Well, if this is a girl, then no. If he's a guy, <laughs> he's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do okay. a kid. Okay? We can turn to a dad. Okay. okay right here. Okay. So a circle. Oh. Whoa, this kid has a mongo head. Yes! <laughs> Whoa. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. he's, he's smart because he's honoring his parents. He's just so smart. All right, so okay. here, lying down. Just straight down. How just big of a down. line? Just like, like an tiny inch. Tiny line or a bit, an inch line? There. Okay. Okay. So then... We're going to do the arms again. So here, go toward my voice. Your voice. Good. Okay, okay. Here, toward my voice. Okay. Good. Now here, lying down a little bit more. Another inch. Okay. Okay. Now, two legs toward your knees. Okay? Okay. One, one two. two. Good. Okay. <gasps> okay. So, one dot for an eye right there. Okay. I can do it. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, right here, you're going to do a smile this way. Okay? Okay. Right there. I got it. Okay. Start. Okay. All okay. right. All right, so now we're going to give him a big ear because part of honoring is listening. Yes. Okay? So from here, you're going to do it like a little C. Okay? Okay. Wait. So start here. A little? Okay. Like, See, okay, wow, that's a he listens really well. Yes! Hey, he needs a big ear for his big head. He's okay. smart. Okay, so this listens. is a boy, so we gotta give him more hair. Okay, okay. so up here. Spikies. Okay, spiky, 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 spiky. Okay, he spiky. kind of looks like a monkey, but we're gonna just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay! Well done! Can I see it? Oh! Okay. I look at that in a gallery and I'm totally like, they were talking about Exodus 2012, honor your father and mother. <laughs> Maybe not quite that, but it's better than the first Yeah, time. way better. Way better. Thanks for so, letting me help. Oh, no, thank you. So you guys, this one. So this painting, I was trying to do it all on my own. This painting, I was honoring Kate. Um, and letting her help give me instructions mm -hmm. and help me Turned tell me what to do. Better. Absolutely, yes. Okay, let's look at that. Where's the Bible? Bible, Bible, Bible. Oh, here we go. So this verse is coming from when Moses gave the Ten Commandments. And it's in Exodus 20:12. And it says, honor your father and mother then you will live a long and full life in the land your Lord God is giving you. I definitely do not want to live a short and empty life. I want it long and full. Like this. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us.
and discovering what it means to honor your father and mother and leaders. See you next week. Bye. Bye.